Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, just Tiffany B, and I'm back with another exciting video. As you can tell by the title, it's all about ColourPop. You guys, ColourPop flooded their website with so much new things that I had to try out almost everything, <laughs> basically everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right on into this unboxing. So as you see inside the box, everything is white. Everything is ombre. I just love the vibes when I open the color box box. I'm not gonna lie, I was very disappointed when I placed my order because once I placed my order, I feel like a month went by before I got my order. Two weeks went by before I got a confirmation. Another week after that before, hey, we're we're still working on your order. We didn't forget about you. Um, it's just been delayed because of so much traffic. And after that, a few days later, I got my order. So it felt like a month since I placed my order before I actually got the products in my hands. You know what I mean? So I was a little disappointed and sad about that. But once I opened the box, they really have this really cute letter inside. It says, sorry we're late, XOXO, ColourPop. And they gave me a free Licky Pencil. So that was cute, that made me smile. They didn't like ignore the issue, like, hey, it's been a month since I placed an order and didn't get anything in my hand. So it just put a smile on my face. Inside the box, I got three concealers. I got a bronzer. I got a highlighter. And I also got two Yes Please palettes. You guys, it took me forever to get this palette in my hands. And I got two of them. So this palette, the second one, I'm going to be giving away in my future giveaway. I'm just ready to dive on in. You guys ready for this look? Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Alright, so to start off, I am using two different concealers to conceal around my brows. So underneath my brows, I kind of like it to be lighter. So I'm going in with Golden 40 underneath my eyes. And as I went in, I kind of like the way it sits on my face and it was easy to blend in. But I feel like the more time goes by once you place it on your skin, the more time goes by, the harder it is to blend. So don't don't wait. It's not like extremely hard to blend out, but it's still a good significant extra work if you make it sit for a little bit. So I put golden underneath my eyes and on top, I put deep 70 on top of my eyebrows because I want that to be like my natural skin color, you know? Blended it out, everything looked perfect. Let's move into the yes please eyeshadow palette because oh my gosh it's my favorite eyeshadow palette well it's come it comes very close to the Jaclyn Hill palette it comes very close so for this yes please palette the first shade I went into I put note to self and I just put that all over the lids you know just to set it you know so get a close shade that's to your skin tone and set your set your primer or your concealer whichever you prefer afterwards I took Spoiled, yeah, I took spoiled and I focused that in the crease section. I kind of blended it a little bit higher because I was cutting my crease anyway. So I just blended it out in the crease, but I raised it a little higher and I was kind of focusing it in my V section. So, you know, I get a little red smokage in that section. After I blended that out on both sides, I went in with GNO. Is that meant for something G and O? I don't know what that means. I don't know. I went in with G and O and I placed it a little a little bit past the red. So it's in my it's also in my transition shade. Oh, it's also in my transition area, but it's more focused in the middle <clears throat> while the red was focused out at the end. Because I was kind of doing an ombre effect like orange, red smokiness you know what I mean so that's what I was doing so I smoked that up on both sides and then I went in with French Kiss and I focused that mainly in my V sections just to get that area darkened so you know I just wanted that to be extra smokage <laughs> on both sides after that I went in with the concealer and I actually cut the crease with the concealer I used golden to cut the crease and what I was doing I was patting out the formula on my lids and I was looking up to see how much the concealer would go up and then I'll just shape out the concealer on my eyes and I try to cut it as good as possible you know this is a learning experience for me so after I cut my crease with the concealer 
I went in with Mischief and I placed that on the fronter part on halfway on my front lid. And I packed that shade in. You guys, these shades are pigmented. You do get fallout. I got the most fallout with GNO. That one just went everywhere for me. <laughs> but they're pigmented, so I don't mind. They're $16, they're pigmented, they pack a punch, you guys. Okay, anyways. On the inner corner of my lid, I used GNO just to get that, you know, yellow orange ombre, and I packed that in and I tapped it over the line where the yellow stopped. Now, once I did that, I went back in with Spoiled and I kind of um, meshed the orange and the red together just slightly so everything blended together outside at the end now for the glitter i kind of went above my cut crease area just to um line out a line of gold you know can never have too much glitter <laughs> so i took Stila's glitter in a bottle and i'm using gold goddess and then i went in with deep 70 and i put that all over my face now i was hoping and praying that deep 70 was my skin tone and my was my skin tone color was a match for a foundation because i want to wear these concealers as a foundation um so it was a little off i i looked a little bit toasted but you know overall with one with one um application it covered up all my hyperpigmentation. So I'm so excited. I can't wait for ColourPop to actually come out with foundations because the concealers is killing it. And it was so easy to blend in. Same thing again about the concealers. Once you put it on your face, if you let it set for a little bit, it's gonna be harder to blend out. I used my beauty blender and I felt like it's the way to go with the beauty blender. Um, but if you let it sit, it will be a little bit like the streaks. You can see the streaks where you initially applied the concealer on your face. So as soon as you apply, blend, girl. Don't waste no time, just blend. <laughs> After that, underneath my eyes, I went in with Golden 40. And this is such a perfect highlight shade for me, you guys. Like, I love this concealer because it's creamy it's lightweight and it's medium to full coverage so it's not too cakey and it's not too sheer so it's like it's not doing its job it's still brightened underneath my eyes and it was the perfect amount of coverage for me so I went in with Rich 75 as a concealer and you guys I was nervous because I don't want my concealer to be too dark so you know I went in with a swipe on both sides and I put it underneath my chin as well and I blended it out and it was so beautiful just the way it blended out it, it, it left a look of naturalness if that's a word it just, just blended so naturally and then i applied some on top of my forehead and on the sides of my face and you guys i never do cream contour and let me just say i was blown away with this formulation i'm so glad that i got these like for six bucks this is like comparing to the tarte um contour shape tape that's like 27 dollars, and this actually compares to nars um, creamy concealer which is another high-end concealer and this is only six dollars so for the formulations for this is so beautiful the way it blends out on your skin so I went in with the bronzer Rodeo Drive so I just set that on top of the cream contour that I did earlier You guys, so I kind of wanted a orange blush just to match in with everything because my eyeshadow was having this reddish orange yellow vibe. So I actually took back the ColourPop Yes Please palette and I went in with G and O, you guys. Yeah, I went in with G and O and I applied that as a blush and it went so perfectly, so pigmented, you guys. So. After I applied GNO on my cheeks, I just took my beauty blender and I blended it just a little bit because you know you don't want it too bright. You want it natural. You know you want your cheeks orange and natural. 
<laughs> but anyways, it blended out perfectly. I love the outcome of it and mwah, this is perfect. <laughs> and then for the favorite obsession, the highlighter, I went on top with the highlighter that I used was Bay Area. It is so beautiful, you guys. Yeah, so I just kind of went crazy once I saw the formulation and the pigmentation of this highlighter. And I just decided to put it everywhere, as usual. So yeah, so that's the highlighter and I'm so obsessed with it. You know, just give me a moment so I can just pack it on everywhere. I'll put it underneath my eyebrows. Put it underneath my chin. Put it on my chin. On my cheekbones. Down my nose. My button underneath my lip like I just put this everywhere you guys you know don't hate the highlighter hate the game feel me <laughs> all right so coming back to the eyes underneath the eyes I actually am taking cake batter and I'm putting that in my tear duct just to meet it up with the glitter and also I'm going to take cake batter and I'm going to put that underneath my eye just right underneath my tear duct after that, I went in with spoiled and I focused that on the outer edge of my under eye. I just basically packed that in everywhere. And then I took GNO and I put it on top of where the yellow and red met. So it kind of blended in at the bottom. For the lips, I am actually wearing ColourPop. I went in with Love Bug and it's an ultra matte. You got a fetish for my love. everything blended out perfectly but for the white tips it got dirty very quickly $16 and the pigmentations that you're getting you need to get this every time they restock like well if you already have one that's good enough like you know let's not go crazy here but anyways as long as you have this in your hand you this is a must in your collection you guys I'm not lying it's a must the only thing is with the white packaging the fallout kind of gets everywhere and kind of not make the packaging white anymore if these bronzer and highlighters they feel so light in your hands um all together this is eight dollars if you only want the pan it's seven dollars so the pan itself with the mirror and this packaging this is a dollar <laughs> i love the bronzer so much because i don't like strong bronzers because i am heavy-handed with my products you guys this highlighter is bay this highlighter is my new favorite highlighter even though I got a thousand highlighters this one is like the perfect in between between a champagne and a deep bronzy gold this for my skin tone like it sits on my skin tone so beautifully I'm so glad with my purchase Colourpop is really stepping it up and it's like really like shutting these higher brands down like I don't think I'll buy another tart shape shape with these concealers out like nah I'm good so thank you so much for watching Stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed, and if you already hit subscribe, hit the bell right next to it. It's one in the same. And look out for my giveaways because I'm doing my 1K giveaway very soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye, you guys. <laughs>